Welcome back. So two engrossing semi-finals, VJ Singh against Colin Montgomery and Ernie Els against Jose Maria Olathabal. Initially, Fogg delays play for two hours at the start, but Colin Montgomery very quickly into his stride when the sun comes out. Well, that's the kind of form he knows he has to have if he's going to beat VJ Singh from Fiji, who already has won twice this year in Europe and is one of the few players who plays on both the European and the American tours. Singh's long game is as immaculate as Montgomery's short game. This a tight encounter. Problems, though, in the other semi-final for the Spaniard, Jose Maria Olazabal. He has had problems with his left hip, and that really is acting up. At one stage, it looks as if he might have to pull out. But uh, after 20 minutes with the physio at lunchtime, Ollie returns to the course much fitter. That is tee shot, and what a brilliant tee shot at the second hole, the 20th of the match, which puts him four up on Big Ernie Els. But Ernie knows how to reply. He loves this third hole. <laughs> he holed his second shot in his first tie there for a rare eagle two, the first of the championship in 31 years. And gradually, as the afternoon wears out, Ernie battles back. From four down, to three down, to two down. Ernie has the momentum as play continues. Soon he's one down, and then it's all square. In fact, both semi-finals desperately tight affairs. And as we join the action, both are all square. Singh and Montgomery have played 15 holes, Els and Olathabal, 12. But it's the Spaniard who's in a bit of trouble off the tee at 13. Yes, really pulled his tee shot and has to almost snap hook the ball around the trees to get it anywhere near the green. There is a ditch about 120 yards in front of him as well, but really out of position. And that is a fabulous shot by Olathabal to get it anywhere near the green. Hell's certainly in pole position, but shut off a little bit by those trees and just has to carry the corner of the dogleg. Oh, and just getting a little bit of a flyer out of the semi-rough. But that should be no real trouble at all. But a tough little fast chip coming up for Els. In the other semi-final, Vijay Singh in the bunker in two at 16. Splashing out. Oh, what a good shot from uh, Singh. But he knows that Colin Montgomery has a birdie chance to go one up. Back to 13. Olathabal straightforward chip up the green. Just needs to get it up over the plateau. And now that's a clumsy shot really from Ollie. One place he didn't really want to hit it was past the hole. And that's really going to open the door for Els. Els who played that wonderful little shot down the hill at the 17th or 35th hole against a Seve Ballesteros when they met in their quarter final. And of course, this is really what match play is all about. Cut and thrust of putting the pressure on the opponents. Els can get this close. Makes Olathabal's putt that much more difficult. And just look at the touch for a big man. Well, this young man really does have it all. Meanwhile, ahead at the 16th, Colin Montgomery for a birdie three to move ahead. It seemed to run just right over the hole, so that game remains all square. Two regulation holes to go in this uh, semi-final. So, tough putt for Olathabal, fairly quick down the hill. Should be a bit from his right. No, set it left. So, Ernie Els takes a one-hole lead against Olathabal in that semi-final. Meanwhile ahead, Colin Montgomery has hit his tee shot into the perfect position at the par 5 17th. He can now go for the green. Yes, yeah, very long tee shot aiming at the TV tower. Oh, and he really clipped that. Can he get the shoot off the down slope? Oh, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, well, a bit harder, might have been a two. Well, that a marvellous shot at a crucial stage in this semi final from the European number one, Colin Montgomery. What sort of answer has Vijay Singh got? 
A little bit further off the tee in trying to chase the one iron. And this really needs to scoot. Uh, well, that's so not the place to be, is it, down on the right-hand side? The pin is cut over there on the right-hand side. He's now got a, a very difficult shot indeed to get anywhere near the flag. Problems two at 14 in the other semi-final for Olafabel. Just laying the face of the sand iron wide open. Well, so many marvellous shots around the green being played by these chaps this week. A number of chip shots and bunker shots being holed, and that another fine example of how professional golfers save scores and save matches. But this now for Ells to go two up. Greens here this week, absolutely superb. Unusual. Well, that one's actually been conceded, so Ells remains one up. At the 17th, Sing. Third shot. Can he get it close to the stick? Throwing it up in the air, but that was almost the best he could do, Warren. Yes, really paid the penalty for the poor second shot with the iron. And Singh not lost his turn. That mist just coming down again. Remember that uh, everything two hours delayed on this third day. Singh for four. Nope. So Colum Montgomery from uh, just the front edge of the green has two putts to take the lead. And he may well look back, uh, Warren, on... Uh, that second shot is uh, the match winner. Yes, may well do. It's such an exciting hole, this 17th, and when you consider there's not a bunker on the hole, cause the players problems, it's really just the out of bounds and being able to hit all on exactly the right line. And no straighter oh. hitter than Monty. Colin Montgomery then one up with one regulation hole to go. So Montgomery up against Singh, Ells up against Olathabal. And we rejoin that match at the 17th. Ells' tee shot should be aiming down the right-hand side, trying to draw it in. And quite a rematch for them because uh, Ells leading most of the way in the Volvo PGA Championship round the West Course earlier this year and then being pipped just at the post by Olathabal. And then a monster tee shot there by the South African past the corner of the dog leg. Well, Olafarbo really up against it. Smaller man really has to bust this to get anywhere near the South African. And he's gone for it. You can see that hip still must be hurting him. Just lost his balance there at the end, falling forward. And Olafarbo putting up really a very brave fight back this afternoon. I think the, what has impressed most people here is the, the power of Els. He really has it all and makes it uh, look so easy, so simple. He always seems to be playing well within himself. Beat Sevi Ballesteros yesterday. Can he complete a Spanish double here this week at uh, the West Course at Wentworth? Well, Colin Montgomery in pole position off the tee at 18, the 36th hole of his semi-final against Singh. He has a hole that really favours Montgomery's style. Dog leg left to right. And there Monty's second shot aiming at the left-hand bunker. Just sliding it in towards the green on the bank on the right. And another excellent shot. Hole height, good judgment of distance there. It's looking good for Monty. Looking back from behind the green to where Singh will be playing his second from the light rough. That's another booming tee shot from him there. Yes, but he's going to have to either carry the front bunker on the left-hand side or try and chase it around the bunker by hitting a draw. If he goes for the slightly hook shot, it's really going to have to chase onto the green. And will he be able to control the pace of it? Looks to be aiming right. Gone for the low hook. Oh, looks good. Looks very good. That 
Well, he could have done without it going through the back edge of the green. Certainly easier to putt it than chip it. And really effectively, if he wants this match to continue, he's got to hold that shot. Back on 17, Olathar will first to play his second shot. How close can he get to the green? Well, surprised that uh, he's out with the iron. I would have thought that uh, he needs wood to get on the green. Certainly where they've grown that roughing up that left-hand side, not helping Olathar, we're just slowing the ball up a fraction, but that's a good bit back. And you would think with the strength and power, effortless power of Els, advantage to the South African player. Well, he's out with the iron as well. well he's a big fella. Yeah, six foot three, and just look at the rhythm. Perfect strike. Oh, my word. Well, that's monstrous. Absolutely monstrous. Well, Montgomery needed two woods to get onto the green, and he didn't quite make it. Els there with a one iron. And he is going to take some beating this week. VJ Singh then for three. He's one down. And really, he knows that this must go in with Colin Montgomery comfortably on the green and closer to the hole. Oh, it's not bad. Very, very close indeed. But it means that Colin Montgomery has two putts to win the tie by one hole. We had a great old scrap, these two. And VJ Singh, arguably the most improved international golfer around. Two for it, then, for a place in the final. And it's fairly slick down that hill, but nothing to, to worry. Europe's number one. So he edges out Singh just by the one hole. Well, back on the 17th, on a Tharble. Shot of about 60 yards coming down the slope. Hasn't much green to work with. Oh, and electing to go for the chip and run. And oh. that's surprising. Thought he might have tried to uh, just pitch that onto the front edge with a sand iron. Just get it to bumble forward. Well, there, the new South African flag there, the supporters of uh, Ernie Els, who is very much now in command of this game. That is putt for three, and uh, he has a majestic touch on the greens, has had for two days. He's going to get four. Olafabel must hold his putt to take the match down the... 18th, the 36th hole. I wonder if that youngster realises the drama. This must go in, or Olathabal loses. Oh, well, they give it every chance, but it's Ernie Els who will meet Colin Montgomery in the final. Els winning by two and one against Olathabal. So Montgomery and Els coming up on the final day. And that should be a real thriller. Welcome back. Well, the final between the European number one, Colin Montgomery, and uh, the US Open champion, Ernie Els. All square after 18 holes of the morning round, Montgomery coming back from three down, doing most of the damage on the back nine. This his second shot to the 15th, and what a beauty. Well, the standard of golf throughout the week here at Wentworth has been superb, but curiously, Montgomery only got a half there. Still, he uh, won the 16th, and he won the 18th to square the match. Els went one up at the 19th hole, the first hole of the afternoon round, then produced that marvellous shot there at the fourth, the 22nd hole, to get a half there. So as we join the action at the short fifth, the 23rd hole of the final, Els is one up. Yes, the hole uh, 191 yards. 
and for the power and strength of Ernie L's, just a six iron. That swing rhythm has remained constant throughout the three days. Yes, it doesn't seem to matter whether he's hitting a driver or an iron or a pitch, it's that long follow through, easy rhythm. Just catching that ledge that runs across the green at the fifth and uh, taking him, or taking his ball down onto the lower level, making it more difficult for his birdie putt on oh, no, Montgomery. This is his tenth tournament in a row. Yes, and he's had a couple of long matches, both gone to the 36th hole. So quite a tiring week for Monty. Well, catching a hard uh, spot there on the green and bouncing into the sand. Advantage, Ells. Not much sunshine today, overcast, no mist, but more breezy. There's the prize fund, £600,000. The winner gets 160000 the runner-up 90000 Now, particularly difficult bunker shot for Montgomery, not far away from the flag, but not much green to work with, and just a slight downhill slope on the edge of the green. Oh, well, that is just fabulous. Real shot of an expert short game player. But can Ells win the hole with this uphill putt? Quite a sharp plateau about six feet away from the flag, so it needs to be quite positive. Well, I think uh, I would ask him to putt that one back. Ernie, who is 24, he's had nine career wins, two this year in Dubai and uh, the US Open, of course. This then for a half in three. This to stay one up. His holding out has been excellent throughout the week. <laughs> Very languid as he strolls off to the next tee, taking it in his stride. One up against Colin Montgomery, 31 years old, seven career wins, three wins in Europe this year. Yes, and 12 top 10 places. Well, this second shot of the six for Ells, just a pitching wedge. Has he given it enough? Looking anxiously. Oh, amazing bounce there too. May have just held up a little bit in the breeze. Can't believe it. That breeze causing problems to the players. There was uh, none at all yesterday, very little the day before, but today uh, the wind swirling around in the trees just in the way it does at Augusta, Georgia in April at the Masters. Well, Monty, driver off the tee, and not really into pole position for where the flag was cut, and that just about the best he could do. Certainly didn't want to do anything heroic with L's in the bunker. So a chance for Montgomery, perhaps, to square the match. Montgomery, eighth in the, the Sony World Rankings, else seventh. And they've both made over a million dollars in prize money this year, so it's a very even match. Montgomery for three. Yes, this putt just down the hill. Oh, just seemed to die at the hole, and these greens just a little bit slower than uh, previous days. A little bit of early morning drizzle. Now Els with his bunker shot. And again, bunkers just a little bit damper than the last few days. A little bit more difficult to judge the shot. No such problems for Els, but it just goes on a fraction further. Coming out of wet sand, all can just dig in. It comes out a little bit quicker than you want it. And there's no easy putt for a half. Well, Warren, two marvellous putts there for halves at the fifth and the sixth holes. The 23rd and 24th holes of the final from Ernie Els. Ernie Els one up through six against Colin Montgomery. The seventh is halved, so too is the eighth. They'll still one up as they approach the ninth. The 27th hole of the final. Yes, there's a very long par four, 450 yards. 
Elle's another booming tee shot and just left with a short iron to the green. It's the ease of this man's power that is so uh, majestic to watch. And reducing this hole to, well, almost nothing. Fine second there. But he'll be putting downhill. Ideally, you want to perhaps be on the other side of the pin and be putting uphill. Colin Montgomery. Yes, Montgomery coming in over the left-hand bunker. Number of pins today cut on the left-hand side, probably favouring Ells more than it favours Montgomery. About a good shot by the Scott. Yes, when the pins are cut on the left-hand side, easier for Ells to play his natural shot with a draw than Montgomery to play his with a fade. But the South African to putt first. Different putting styles between these two players. Ells naturally taking it on an inside line on the way back, closing on the way through. Yeah. Oh, look at that. What a three from Ernie Ells from a difficult position on the green downhill. And that putting touch is just not letting him down at all. Well, that makes it all much more difficult for Colin Montgomery, the shorter putt coming up the hill, but all of a sudden that hole much smaller. Oh, and he's so good normally from that length, just holding it out with his left wrist, just letting it sneak away on the right-hand side, so L's after nine is two up. Well, Montgomery looking to square the match there, suddenly finds himself two down as they step onto the tee at uh, the short tenth. And a lovely par three, the tenth, played over some trees. Really need to get the ball up in the air. To a pear-shaped green, very narrow at the front. That is not the place to go. Behind that green, a of sandy ground and tree roots that uh, really eat their way through to the surface of the ground. So tough shot coming up for Ells. Montgomery must hit the green. The green sitting at an angle to the tee. Should suit the fader, providing he doesn't let it go too much to the right. Oh. Oh, that's perfect. There's a look at the 10th and uh, the problems that the players face at this 186-yard well, hole. A lot of trouble down on the right there in the trees. Awkward shot if you miss the green on the left. Els is through and on somewhat uh, bare lie. Yes, yeah, a bare lie, Renton, but the ball, in fact, actually sitting up. And you can see he's actually taking out a lofty club, able to let the club get underneath the ball. He certainly needs loft. And that's a fortunate break, but you can see the speed of that coming down that hill. Hard to control. So, door open for Monty. He'll be trying to hold it. Big swing from the right-hand side. He doesn't want to race it past. Well, that's not dead. Not dead, but conceded. Oh. <laughs> you can see the surprise by Colin. I think oh. that did surprise uh, Montgomery. This then for the half. Oh. So Colin Montgomery gets a hole back, and Ernie Else is uh, once again only one up. <laughs> well, I think Colin was somewhat surprised there that he was given that, uh, conceded that putt, but uh, still pretty tight as they move on to the 11th hole, Warren. Yeah, it's quite a nice dogleg par four. Players really trying to hit the ball down the right-hand side and draw it up the fairway towards the green, a hole that's uh, not particularly long, but you certainly don't want to go left. There's a bracken and hump and hollows. Up the right-hand side opens the green, and if you can just carry those two front traps, well, the bird is there for the taking. Ells actually hit an enormous tee shot, really moved it round the corner, but it's got on the low side, so really needs to get some elevation to get it near the hole. 
Doesn't seem to change his approach at all to the game, Renton. No matter whether he's won a hole or lost a hole, just plays one shot at a time. The next one, almost impervious to the pressure. Fine attribute to have when you're playing a match play. Don't give your opponent a glimmer of how you're feeling. Montgomery, his pitch. Yes, Montgomery, a much more emotional player. You always know how Monty feels. Yes, wears his heart on his sleeve, and I never think that's particularly good. Well, he is a bit of a showman, and uh, I suppose that's all part of being a professional golfer. Now, this is a quick putt coming down the hill, and watch how Colin, as he hits the ball with the putter, holds his left wrist open. Almost goes shut going back with the putter and then opens it on the way through. Sometimes difficult to judge the pace of a putt when you do that, but not for this man. He's well, a wonder on the greens. What else for his three? Almost two up again. So languid, any else there has the edge, but Colin Montgomery played the closing holes better in the morning round. Now the record crowds here at Wentworth then going to see Colin Montgomery come through to take the title, or is Ernie Els going to win it at his very first attempt? Welcome back to the West Coast at Wentworth, the Toyota World Match Play Championship Final. Colin Montgomery against Ernie Else. Else one up as they play the 12th hole, the 30th of the final. Yes, and this is a real sporty par five. Tee shot played over those trees and players trying to hit it down the right hand side. No bunkers to worry about as the hole turns and dog legs towards the left, but out of bounds right on the left-hand edge of the green is a concern for the players so they'll be aiming at that right-hand bunker and trying to draw the ball in of course a tougher shot for Monty with his fade first to play Els we keep on saying the power of this man but quite often in this afternoon battle it's Montgomery that's hit the longer tee shot almost oh, an albatross too from uh, Ernie Els there He'll have a putt for an eagle. Yes, and it uh, always helps to get your shot in first. Really does put the pressure on the other player. Although there's out of bounds down the left hand side. Flag today cut on the right, so should suit Colin this. Aim it at the left half of the green, move it towards the flag. I've got it to sit down very quickly out of the semi rough. That breeze downwind, taking a little bit of the fade off the ball. Well, in the playoff for third and fourth place over 18 holes, Olathabal has the edge on Singh. He's two up, and Singh putting here at the 17th to keep the game alive. No. So uh, Olathabal finishes third in this year's Toyota World Match Play Championship, beating Vijay Singh by two and one. The Fable wins £60,000, Singh £50,000. But let's get back to the main action this afternoon, the final, with Colin Montgomery at the 12th hole, the 30th of the final, putting for an eagle three. Yes, this is a longish putt up the slope. Long follow through there by Colin, trying to force it up the green. Well, that's uh, his eighth four, eighth birdie four at this uh, 12th hole. He's had a birdie in every round of every one of his ties. Only for an eagle to win the hole. And that, I'm sure, will be conceded, and he has birdied this hole six times in his three ties. So really, for these two players, this is a par four one and not a, uh, not a par five. Yes, it's only just a par five, just over the 480-yard mark. So really for those players, 
just a drive and a longish iron. But here at the 13th, a dog leg left, another good example of why Wentworth is such a good course to play, certainly a match play. Quite a wide fairway, but the players need to hit it down the right-hand side, past that bunker, to be able to see the green. There's a ditch that crosses the fairway 80 or so yards short of the green, but uh, that doesn't worry them. Two bunkers on the left front part of the green and the one on the right-hand side, of course, do worry the players. They need to carry those to get it up towards the flagstick. Well, Colin can aim down the tough left-hand side of the course, move it into the pole position down the right. It's a hole that shouldn't worry him off the tee. Of course, Ells has slightly different problems. He's got to aim it almost into those trees. Doesn't want to hit it too far. And, of course, then got to rely on his slinging hook. Too far down the left, not really. Well, both players there, very friendly, side by side. Two fine tee shots at this stage in the final of a championship, which has had many great winners in the past. Gary Player, of course, winning for South Africa on five occasions, and uh, Els trying to win his first for South Africa. Arnold Palmer, Tom Weisskopf. Graham Marsh, David Graham, Seve Ballesteros, Nick Fowler, Ian Woosman, Sandy Lyle. So many great champions have won this title around the West Course. Well, the first to play, Els. Aiming it clear of the trees on the corner of the dogleg. Drawing it in towards the flag, cut just over those bunkers and that just a fraction strong. All just going a little bit further when you try and draw the ball and Sometimes when you swing it as easy as Ernie does, every now and again you just clip it so much out of the middle of the club face, or goes that bit further than you need. Now, awkward shot for Montgomery with that pin placement tucked over that bunker. Can't really hit it far enough left. Oh. Unless you do that right over the top of the flagstick. Well, he's not going to let this title go. It something about it. And there, Ernie Els, uh, father, who is uh, enjoying this uh, final. It's perhaps a little bit anxious for him. His son only one up and, uh, well, you never know, he might just lose this hole. He's putting for a three, but from long range. So the door opened for Colin Montgomery to square the match. If he could just do that, psychologically, it might just give him the boost he needs for the closing holes. See how much he's aiming away to the right. Starts to go downhill now. And, well, number of putts he's left short, not really hit it hard enough. So anything else remains one up as they move on to the short 14th the 32nd hole of the final. Montgomery still with the honour, uphill all the way to a two-tier green, the pin on the upper tier. Yes, just four feet on that upper tier, and hard to get the ball near the hole. And a fine, accurate shot by Montgomery. So when you do play with a fade, you can get an enormous amount of spin on the ball. But round went with you have to hit it. Really spot on. Big Annie, who'll be playing in America next year, not in Europe. Powerful. <laughs> oh, an equally good shot, in fact, slightly better. What a reply from Ernie else. Two great talents. And uh, two fine shots. Ernie else with just a couple of birdies on the outward nine in this afternoon round, dropping that one shot at the short tenth. Montgomery to go first for his two. High above the plains from Heathrow Airport. Oh, 
Kings down three, Warren. But the chance for any else to go two up. Yes, good opportunity for Els. This is just about his length. Just inside the right edge. Close enough to the hole not to really worry about pace. Firm left wrist at impact. Oh, the crowd liked it. I mean, feet from the hole, they knew. They were starting to cheer, so good thrust there by Els. Two up now, four to play. And it's going to be tough on Monty to get back. Let's have a look at the 15th, Warren. Well, the 15th hole, out of bounds down the right and left-hand side. That bunker not normally in play, but today into the breeze may be a factor. The hole then turns slightly to the right. Again, played over a ditch, which for the likes of these professionals really doesn't worry them. Well bunkered green, but it's the slope on the green that's a major factor here. Big swing from right to left, so important to get good position off the tee to be able to attack the flagstick. Ernie out with the metal driver as ever. And as he just turned that a little bit too much, and that's surprisingly in that bunker down the left-hand side. If he does have a problem, Els, it's uh, occasionally comes over the top with the driver, sets it left, going left. Now, can Monty take charge? Must aim at that left-hand bunker to move it left to right. Well, would you believe it? Followed him straight in there. And that would have to feel, Renton, that's an unforced error. Chris Kennedy, the green superintendent here, who's got the course in such marvellous condition on the right there, walking down with Keith Williams, the general manager of the club. Grandstand view for them of this engrossing final. Well, Ernie else up close to the lip and yeah. not going for the green. The sensible play. And now, of course, Colin Montgomery has to choose what he's going to do. Well, just when I was saying that the ditch doesn't really come into play, of course, it does come into play if you hit it in the bunker. It's about 100 yards down there, and, of course, that's stopping the players from really having a cut at the green. So they're both just getting it back into position. And really, for someone of Colin's accuracy off the tee, that was a real mistake there at two down. Els in the bunker. He must have uh, hit the fairway first. There may be signs of just tiredness creeping in. Third shot. And well, that's heading for that bunker on the left of the green. So a couple of bunkers at the 15th, the 33rd hole for Montgomery. Oh, and, and that's, that's plugged. Oh, that's wicked. Well, Els won't know that from the fairway. He'll assume that uh, Montgomery's in a good light. Now he can aim this right onto the high part of the green. Just use the natural terrain to bring it down towards the hole, but I think he's clipped that a little bit thin. Well, thin it might be, but it's a good result. And uh, things suddenly getting very tough for Colin Montgomery. It's a disconsolate Montgomery as he walks towards his ball. He'll be even more disconsolate when he sees where it's finished. Colin Montgomery's father, Jim, there on the electric cart with Neil Flanagan, who's the golf manager here at Wentworth. Now, normally you open the face of the club face in a bunker to play a bunker shot, but there you need to close it when the ball is buried. Try and get the ball up as quickly as you can. Can't get much spin, and that's about as good as Colin could have done. Well, Els might have two putts to win this hole. He certainly will win it if he holds this for his par four. Oh, what a cruel blow. Ernie Els moves three up with three regulation holes to go. And Ernie Els now in a strong position to become the first first-time winner of the title since Greg Norman back in 1980. Well, the 16th hole at Wentworth has produced some dramatic moments. And uh, it's going to require a dramatic moment here if Montgomery's going to turn this match around. He's used driver on this hole a number of times, aiming at that bunker up the left-hand side. 
moving it towards the right-hand side before playing a short pitch to the green. Well, with a three-hole cushion, all Elves requires is to get it on the fairway, out with the iron. Good course management. Oh, I set that left half of the fairway and it's drawing. Oh, just bouncing off the side of the bunker. And once again, opening the door a little bit for Montgomery. He's taken driver off this hole, as I said, every day. Which is a fairly brave thing to do. It's very narrow at the driving area where the whole bottleneck's with that bunker. Well, he too just avoiding the sand. Only else uh, just 24, celebrating his 25th birthday the day after this final. So what a birthday present he would be giving himself if he does win. Well, 140 yards for Monty, just a little eight iron. Uh, maybe a little bit too easy into the breeze, just caught in that semi-rough. And again, he hasn't played the shot to put the pressure back on Els. Just at these clothing holes, well, a little bit of poor thinking. Els needs to hit it underneath the trees and hook it around. Chasing it onto the front edge and, well, perfect judgment of distance. Well, that really, one would have to say, looks like the shot of a winner. There's uh, Ema Montgomery, Colin's wife. Hoping, no doubt, that uh, Colin can manage to pop this one in for three and uh, win the hole and keep the game alive. No, he knows that uh, it's all over. Ernie Els is the winner of the 1994 Toyota World Match Play Championship at his first attempt. It was a great final, but at the end of the day, Ernie Els was the steadier of the two. There's a... Uh, Ernie and his dad, a marvellous moment for them. Rick, who has caddied so well for Ernie throughout the year and there, his girlfriend, Liesl. So Ernie Earls, the winner, officially by four and two, but really it was a shame that someone had to lose. Yeah, I think we both did it pretty nice. Uh, you know, I think key putts for me was obviously 14 and 15, but uh, before that I made one and nine, and uh, Colin missed a couple today, but, uh, you know, it's a great feeling to... Uh, to stay in here as a winner after, after a pretty long week. Well, Ernie Els leaving Europe for America as winner of the Toyota World Match Play Championship. He'll be back next autumn to defend, and who knows, maybe one day he'll beat Gally Player's record of five wins. <laughs>